Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Creative as hell. Like, um, okay. let's talk about, let's talk a little bit about, like, you know, the origin story of, of like, Black Eyed Peas, because um, if I'm correct, I think Will I Am and you were, like, super close even before even started making any music. Um, how do you guys come up with such a cool idea? I'm actually really interested in this, Apple, because, uh, you, know, you know, nowadays, as we saw with the internet, like, you can get to know a person yeah. through, like, articles and online and stuff like that, and uh, having this huge privilege of being able mm -hmm. to speak to you. I wonder what, yeah, what that story uh, sounds yeah. like from, from your own eyes, yeah? Yeah, so uh, I was born in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and uh, my mom discovered uh, this foundation. It's called Pearl S. Buck Foundation, mm -hmm. where they support abandoned American kids. Right. And so, so she signed me up in our program, and you've probably seen those commercials, like, send us 75 cents to a kid in a third world country. Yeah. And so she signed me up in our program. And what they do is they get sponsors from the U.S. Right. And um, and then they they send they send you uh, a monthly uh, allowance uh, uh, for tuition fees and books and for, for education. Mm -hmm. And and then in return, you, you, uh, you write a thank you letter to your sponsor. Right. And in, in my letters, I would, you know, I would tell them my life story and. And I was apologizing for my 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 grades, mm -hmm. um, because um, you know my my grades were low because I have a rare condition called nystagmus. Right. I'm a, I'm I diagnosed pretty uh, pretty much re legally blind, and so I couldn't see the board in oh. in, in school, and so you know by telling them that story, he 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 like came up with the idea that. Um, that he'll take that he takes me to the U.S. to have my eyes checked by American ophthalmologists. Okay. Uh, because you know the the technology in Philippines wasn't up to par at that time. Behind. And then, um, so he brought me to the U.S. in 1986, had my eyes checked, but it was uh, it was too late. Mm. Uh, I needed to be seven years old, uh, under seven years old, so they could operate. So that was too late. Right. And How during my stay. Then? Oh man, 1906, <laughs> uh, like 10. Oh, right. so you just fucking missed it. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, during my stay, I just kind of like took the the initiative, like, hey, Mr. Urgens, because uh, we went to Disneyland. Oh, wow. And like, and Universal Studio. Uh -huh. And as a kid, I'm like, oh my God, this is yeah, America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, the American and, dream and, is real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I thought you know that's how uh, that's how it would be every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just, I just asked my dad. I'm like, Dad, would can I stay longer, or would you adopt me? Uh -huh. And um, he's like, Well, son, uh, I have to talk to your mother and the uh, Philippine <laughs> government, and uh, I'll, we'll see. <laughs> so then, so then he sends me back. He sends me back to the Philippines, and then three years later, he processed the papers, the adoption papers. Cool, man. and then Damn. and then I got and then I got to the U.S. in 1989, and my uh, and my my dad was a, a lawyer, and uh, his best friend was a, a lawyer as well, and my dad needed a babysitter uh, before I was enrolled in school, hmm. so his his best friend was and his best friend suggested uh, this lady, uh, her name is Deborah, right. to uh, to babysit me before I was enrolled in school. And so they take me to Deborah's house, and and coincidentally, he she had a a kid the same age as I am, and guess who it was? No, no way, way dude. man. Will and, and that's yep. Will I am? Oh, Holy no. guacamole, man! So they take me to his house, and mind you, I was you know I wasn't fluent in English yet. I'm like <laughs> culture shock, just coming from the Philippines, and uh. He, you know, he said, uh, Will said, I sat there for like hours quiet because I didn't know what to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was scared to like, I was scared to speak. Mm. And then uh, finally, uh, Will started talking to me. He's like, so uh, uh, you're from the Philippines? Uh, what do you do there? You know, like <laughs> I've, I've never heard of that place. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you know, I go to school. I, I take care of water buffaloes. <laughs> I go farming. And, uh, and uh, I also break dance. He's like, what? You know how to break dance. <laughs> so um, so before I left, 
I um I discovered break dancing uh, uh through music videos nice. and and uh in the city because I used to live in the province. Uh-huh. So once I saw break dancing, I was like, ah, oh, I want to do this. <laughs> so I just start I just started picking it up. And then and when Will and me and Will were talking, he was like, Oh, you know some moves? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just learned this. I just learned a, do, a new dance move called the running man. Oh my so God. <laughs> it, so, and then, so, you know, it's like, show me. So I had to, you know, I had to show the running man. Like, <laughs> man, man, man. What a and vibe, then, man. And then the rest is history. You know, we started a dance crew and then um, we started batting other B-boys and then yeah. it just, it just evolved to like, um, um, and one day Will was like, yo, you should rap with me. You know, I was like, Bro, I could barely speak English. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you on? But it's like, yeah, yeah. But he's like, he's like, you got it, man. You got it. You got rhythm. You could be boy. I bet you you got it. And uh, he's like, I'm just gonna put on some beats and let's practice, you know. Guys. So he would put some instrumentals, and I'm like, he's like, just say whatever comes in your head and try to make it rhyme. I'm like, oh yeah, sure. That's so easy. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's so easy. <laughs> That's so wild. The beat, the, the the beat came on like, like, and I'm the only thing I could remember was like, uh, He's uh. like, yo, that's dope, man. See, I knew it. What did you say? I'm like, oh, that's the ABC. <laughs> <laughs> that's the ABC together, bro. <laughs> so but that was my snapping. first. <laughs> That was that was my first freestyle, and then like yo, he's like yo, see you got you got rhythm, you know. You start just keep practicing and start writing, and then I started writing, and then we formed a a a, a group, okay. and it was called the Abang Clan, the Abang Clan, and Abang Clan, and uh, we got discovered by this is so we 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 were discovered by Ruthless Records, right? Cool. Um, um, back in like ninety two, right. And uh, so we would go to this club called Ballistics, and yeah. um, it was thrown by uh, David Faustino, uh, Bud Bunny from Married with Children, and and he would hold like a a, a dance contest and MC MC battles. Nice. Right. And so so we would we would go there, you know, I rip the dance floor, and Will would join the the bat uh, the uh, MC battle contest. Mm-hmm. And then um, some of uh, uh, Rufus A and R would be there at some point at some time yeah. and he took notice to it. He took notice to us. You're like, yo, cause, cause we would like, we dress different. We would, yeah. um, you know, we didn't have no money. So we'd go to thrift stores and like get some old school, like old man jacket and cut off <laughs> and, like, the sleeves and make it our own style. Right. So yeah. we kind of, we kind of stood out and then, uh, he's like, yo, I want to introduce you guys to my boss. And, yeah. um, and then, and then one, one Monday, we we went to uh, attend the meeting and that was Easy E, and um, so then we got signed to to Easy E, and then he passed he passed uh, around ninety five, uh, ninety five, and then um, you know we couldn't use Abang Clan anymore uh-huh. uh, for uh, legal reasons, and then we were just sitting around, um, so we were like, yo, we, let's just start a new group. And um, so we would just, you know, we would just sit around and like throw names up in the air. Like, uh, how about like Blue Unit? Uh, yeah, that sounds cool. But what does that mean? You know, like, yeah. how about how about beans and rice? I'm like, <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds funny. You know, just kind of like, you know, red hot chili peppers, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it's still, you know, um, it was we didn't we didn't pick that one. And then we were like, how about? How about Black Eyed Peas? Uh, it was a, it was our old production company, uh-huh. and you know it just rolled. It, it was just sounded perfect, like Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, <laughs> it, you know it, it rolls, it rolls, you know, in your tongue well, and like, and um, and then so we picked Black Eyed Peas, and then you know we came up with a meaning later. Uh, Black Eyed Peas is is cook uh, is cooked in in a uh, in the beginning of the year. In the mm-hmm. south, in the south, in America, yeah. to bring good luck throughout the whole year. So oh, right. that's, that's right. 
that we so, do that we do that in Venezuela. We cooked the black eyed peas like in, in, uh, um, on December thirty first. So it brings yeah. good luck to the rest of the year. Yeah. Yeah, bam. <laughs> so you know, so we were like, you know, we were getting like ima imaginative, like yo, so it's so food. And we make music from we make music from the, the soul. soul. Yeah. Black, right. So black eyed peas. And then <laughs> <laughs> and then we started Black Eyed Peas in '95. Um yeah. yeah, and then yeah, uh we met Taboo along the way. Mm. Uh it's one of like one of the B-boys we battled oh, at, nice. at some point. And then uh, af and then afterwards, um, um, you know, we like this like his energy, he's yeah. very charismatic, and so we recruited Taboo. Nice. And then, um, and then, uh, so we, you know, we formed Black Eyed Peas. We had two albums, and then there was this girl that used to come over to come to come to our show. Oh, nice! And uh, and then she was like, "Yo, I'm an uh, I'm a singer. I want to put my demo package together. I want. I was wondering if you guys could could help me out." And so we, we exchanged numbers, and then one day we needed a, a girl singer because uh, we're always we always utilize female singers yeah, yeah, yeah. throughout all our, our our careers and then um it's a signature black eyed peas thing yeah <laughs> and then our, fr our friend was like you remember that white girl <laughs> that, 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 that that you exchanged numbers with you know she could blow that girl could blow and then Damn. uh so we needed and then we needed a, a, a song a, a singer for shut up Mm. And then and then we called up Fergie. She showed up, and then the rest is history. I freaking wild, man! It. Freaking wild! And it, <laughs> you, you decided know. to go ahead and like record a whole album with her. That's yeah, freaking mad, bro. Was was that like a maybe once you heard her sing, you kind of made the the decisions like let's make more bloody music together? Yeah, actually, it was just like we just kept on making music, and she would just hang out. We would go out to clubs and. She was like one of the homies. So, uh -huh. and then one day, one day, Will called me. He's like, "Yo, what do you think of like putting Fergie uh, in a group?" In the group yeah, Fergie. I'm like, "I'm like, hell yeah, she's dope. She's like one of us. She likes to party. <laughs> she likes, she likes to rock out. Hell yeah!" And then, uh, yeah, we put her Fergie. 